All right, when we're multiplying fractions, let's take one of these for instance. 1 fourth times 8 ninths. When you multiply fractions, all you're doing is you're evaluating the top times top. So 1 times 8 makes 8. And then on the bottom, 4 times 9 makes 36. So your fraction 836 is not in simplest form. What you can do is divide top and bottom by 4. And you end up with 2 ninths. OK, now I hope that's not tricky for you. You've seen this since fourth grade. However, I want to come back to this original problem and kind of look at it from a different perspective. How can I make my life easier right now? Right, right here, I'm not too sure if I showed this to you, but there's something called cross-canceling or and cross-canceling is this. Can I take some number and divide them both by a common factor? What can I divide 4 and 8 both by? Two. I could divide them both by 2. What would I leave me here with? 8 divided by 2 is, and then 4 divided by 2 is 2. Can I still divide this 2 and that 2 again? Sure, what can I divide them by? Now it's 1. Now it's 1. Something's wrong. One times two is two. One times nine is nine. So by cross canceling, I can get the final answer two nights, as I did up, up, up above when I didn't cross cancel. Okay. Questions on mul or multiplying fractions there? Three, three, four. Okay. Then what if I give you a mixed number, like two and one fifth times? One and three fourths. Turn and talk to your neighbor. What's, what shall you do here? Okay, so in red ink, I'm hearing lots of you guys explaining like two times five plus one. This process is called renaming. You're taking the mixed number and you're changing it into an improper fraction. By improper, the top number, the numerator, is bigger than the bottom, the denominator. So 2 times 5 makes 10. Then you take this 10 and add it with 1 to end up with 11. So 11 fifths times, over here, 4 times 1 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 fourths. Uh, then I simply evaluate top times top is 77. Bottom times bottom is 20. This number that I have in blue ink is an improper fraction. So I'm going to change this now back to a mixed number by division. 77 goes in. 20 goes out. How many 20s are there in 77? Three. Oops, that's 60. Subtract, and I get remainder of 17. And then I'm going to take my whole number. That's 3. My remainder is 17. And now it's dividing by 20. All right, so the final is 3 and 17 twentieths. Questions on that process of renaming and multiplying fractions? All right, we're going to stop here.